Hi everyone, thank you for watching. My name is Yaniv Hoffman and today we'll be speaking about ransomware and in specific about Conti ransomware group that is in the headlines lately. So when it comes to cybersecurity, ransomware is one of the fastest growing threats in recent history. Cybersecurity experts estimate that one attack will take place every 11 seconds in 2022 and that costs connected to ransomware acts will stand above $8 billion for 2022 alone. The popularity of ransomware has surged in the current years because of the development of cryptocurrency, organizational tendency towards digitization, and affiliation of cybercriminals that found a very beneficiary way to extort a lot of money from victims in response to provide them access to their data or to prevent them access to their data, as their data is encrypted. There are many examples for such attacks and ransomware groups. So if you are interested to learn more about ransomware and this subject, I will leave some links for former videos I have made about it for you to watch. But today we are here to speak about the Kanti ransomware. So let's jump right into it. So the Conti ransomware is a malicious program that is used by attackers to encrypt the victim's business critical data and making it inaccessible. Now, Conti ransomware group is a hot topic in media since an Ukrainian cybersecurity researchers leaked the two years internal chat logs of the group. The chat logs offer a fascinating glimpse into the group tactics, agenda, but also their challenges of running a sprawling criminal enterprise with more than 100 salaried employees. The records also provide insight into how Conti has dealt with its own internal breaches and attacks from private security firms and foreign governments. So history of Conti Group. The roots of the group are traced back to October 2019, when Conti ransomware infected hundreds of organizations across the globe. In early 2020, the group developed their own website as part of the Tor space, which was used by the group to publish business critical data of more than 567 different companies. Researchers that track the Conti group believe that it is located in St. Petersburg, Russia. But till this day, no one could really point it exactly. What we can say is that the group itself gained popularity from some high-profile attacks. The first, at least 16 attacks targeting US healthcare and first responder networks, including law enforcement agencies, emergency medical services, 911 dispatch centers, and municipalities within last year. These healthcare and first responder networks are among more than 400 organizations worldwide victimized by Conti, and over 290 of which are located in the US. Conti also attacked Ireland Health Services executive in May 2021, causing weeks of disruption at the country's hospital. The country refused to pay the $20 million ransom but cybersecurity experts estimate that to recover from this attack, the Irish government will need to allocate more than $100 million. Another attack was on the Christmas evening on Scottish Environment Agency, which the Conti Group released over 4,000 stolen files of corporate plans and contracts published after organization refused to give in to ransom demand and so on, so on, and so on. In the following graph, you can see that Conti Group is by far the most aggressive and profitable ransomware group in operation today. Conti current model that is being used by the group to infect the largest, the target systems, is RAS, Ransomware as a Service. 
And the new variant that is currently infected organization and individuals is Conti version 3.0. So what is the internal structure and hierarchy of Conti group? On February 27th this year, tens of thousands of alleged internal jabber messages between Conti gang operators were leaked through an anonymous file dump. The leaker wrote in the attached message that Conti just lost all of their before closing with glory to Ukraine. The leaked chat logs reveals that the group maintained an organizational hierarchy like small and medium-sized businesses, in which an HR manager interviews and hires new employees. Major departments that operates in the group are programmers, and these are the individuals who write malicious code and integrate it with contemporary technologies, testers, and these are the experts in the department that test the malicious programs against the current security tools, administrators that are tasked with setting, tiering servers and lay out the foundation for attacking infrastructure, reverse engineers that are tasked to disassemble the codes of software and security tools to find the system vulnerabilities, hackers that plan the ransom and steal critical business data. So how do Conti get in? And what is the method that is used by the group? So the main goal of the group is to steal the confidential data and encrypt it to demand for ransomware amounts. The group used double extortion strategy in which first they steal the victim's data and then encrypt it. If the victims refuse to pay the desired ransom amount, the group threatens to leak the confidential data on the group website. And we already mentioned that the group uses ransomware as a service model in which it employs multiple affiliates in order to break the victim's network and making the data inaccessible for it. For such attacks, the Conti group hires skillful hackers for multiple, for multiple forums and agrees to provide them a 10 to 30% of commission from the ransom amount if it's successful. Revenue share model if you want to call it that way. The Conti group also assists these affiliates with virtual machines, exploitation tools, and support to the ransomware attacks. The technique is to use a social engineering tactics, such as phishing emails, malicious programs, and infected RDS servers to execute the ransomware in the victim's network. Once the ransomware is deployed, the group then disables the necessary security and backup services. When these services are disabled, the group deletes the existing backup copies. The attack duration usually spans from several days to three weeks or even more, while the group contacts its victim and demands the ransom amount. A good example is in this mail example that is sent to the victim, where they first present themselves and even suggest the victim to Google their name to see their seriousness and professionalism. Then they specify their demands with clear instructions on how to pay and what will happen if the victim will not pay. Some clever tactics used by the Conti group. The leaked chat reveals that some of the clever tactics in the groups that the groups uses are executing malicious tools and scripts. Now the group uses already installed tools and add more tools such as Mimikatz and Sys internals to exploit the target network and escalate the privileges. The group embeds war documents with PowerShell scripts to deploy the ransomware. They often use DLLs to deploy the ransomware into the victim's network and machine. Another technique is the backup removal, and backup services are used by the organization when their critical data is attacked by a ransomware. One of the clever tactics of the Conti group is to delete the backup services with the assistance of backup removal team. The team uses VM backup software 
which is a backup solution for cloud, virtual and physical environments. Once the team escalates the privilege access of the VM backup software, then they encrypt and suspend the backup services of the organization. An additional technique is voice over IP and proton mail. And if the target victim is not agree or doesn't agree to pay the ransom, the group then uses voice over IP phone calls to try to trick the victim. They also use proton mail web email service in order to ensure the encrypted communication with the victim. Print Nightmare or CVE 2021-34481 is a Microsoft print spooler vulnerability which affects every Windows operating system that uses the network print services. This vulnerability used by the Conti Group to exploit the company network, I must say a sophisticated one because no one expects the penetration will come maybe from the printer. Another useful technique is the proxy shell, and the group's also targeting a well-known vulnerability in exchange servers to remotely gain access to the retarget network through a web shell. This vulnerability led the group to quickly affect the target network and gain credentials of domain administrators and controllers within few hours of the attack. Last but not least, the TrickBot. The TrickBot is a non-standard configuration file sent by the country group to infect the victim network. This file instructs the victim to communicate with the command and control server and isolate number of bots from the trick network to infect the target system. Statistics shows that over 120 networks have been compromised so far by the group using the TwigBot. So summing it up, Conti ransomware has been active since 2019 and is considered as one of the notorious group among the cyber criminals, which left no options for any organization to recover their critical data. The key tactic of deleting backup services bring the victim organizations to their knees. Organizations need countermeasures and cybersecurity controls to defend against the cyber criminals like Conti. The group is expected to increase its operation and it is expected to become the largest criminal ransomware group in the near future. Already we saw they are generating more than $100 million. If you got this far, thank you for watching. I hope it was insightful. And if you like this video, please click the like button and also subscribe, which will help me to create more videos for you. If you also have any specific interest in such topics or any other topics you, are, you would like me to speak, please leave your request in the description and I will try to address it. Until the next time, thank you very much.